संजय झा मीनाक्षी लेखी ऑफ हमारा कांग्रेस एंड द बीजेपी आल्सो जॉइनिंग अस लीला पोनप्पा फॉर्मर डेप्यूटी नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू मिस्टर पाटसारथी मिस्टर पाटसारथी हैव वी गॉट अ स्ट्रेटजी समवेयर कंप्लीटली फ्लॉड इज इट टाइम फॉर अ रीअसेसमेंट ऑफ हाउ वी हैव बीन लुकिंग एट पाकिस्तान स्पेशली गिवन द ग्रोइंग इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ जनरल कियानी वेल लेट मी पुट इट दिस वे वी हैड अ डिप्लोमेसी इज कंडक्टेड ऑन अ केयरफुल असेसमेंट of the situation in the adversary or the neighboring country we we had it right till about for upa 1 till about 2007 when president musharraf uh, we assessed would stay by his uh, by his promise not to not to allow terrorism against india from pakistani soil we went horribly wrong with upa 2 when we didn't assess the change which came about with the uh general kayani uh, re replacing president musharraf and a weak government which had no control over the army i mean uh, uh, the the president sends his home minister to the army headquarters and general kayani did uh, denies the home minister permission to enter the army headquarters now anybody who studied general kayani knows that since 1998 he is hardcore anti indian favoring infiltration now uh, the first signs came in afghanistan when the afghans told us that the attack which killed a brigadier level indian military attache and our, and, a, and a counselor was orchestrated from across uh, the uh, durand line from pakistan this was followed by more attacks against us in afghanistan and then 2611 came Uh, and uh, it was uh, also a huge failure on the part of us to act on actionable intelligence we were so cozy about dialogue with pakistan disregarding they killed an indian brigadier in kabul well 2611 we paid the price for then went to went to uh, sharam el sheikh and then uh, said that uh, we, we are deeply sorry they are accusing us of baluchistan and we'll have an irreversible dialogue and nothing was said of 2611 so the pakistanis have taken us for a bunch of suckers to put it mildly uh. and uh, what 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 they have, what they are doing is upping the ante across the loc with infiltration and the infiltration is largely lashkar and those they are infiltrating are killing uh, killing sarpanches and panchayat members to undermine democracy in uh, kashmir so what happens the indian army fires back when they are infiltrating and they escalate and and mutilate our soldiers the least we should have done and this is the most shameful thing after our um, uh, the uh, uh, soldiers were mutilated as at least as a measure of protest we sh we should have recalled our high commissioner for consultations that is the very least but why didn't we other countries do in such no, 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 no but why why didn't we i want to present two points to lila ponappa as i try and draw no, why didn't we judge 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 just a minute why why didn't we because we have boxed ourselves into a position of dialogue only and dialogue on terms set by pakistan i am not against dialogue i want more pakistanis to visit india i want a people to people friendship i have nothing against all this more trade but unless you get tough on terrorism including stepping up covert operations inside pakistan and developing capabilities similar to what happened in uh, abbottabad when uh, osama bin laden was taken out you you're going to get nowhere because you have a situation where you have friendly political leaders whether it is nawaz sharif or alta hussein or zardari or afsandiyar wali khan but they are unable to do anything on terrorism either on india or pakistan or afghanistan and now afghanistan is cooling off so they are going to turn more to india this government has just lost the plot it has a bunch of amateurs who know nothing of in the internal politics of pakistan or the role of the army there and we are paying the price opening up this for debate 
I find it interesting that in July 2011, and before I go to Meenakshi Lekhi, let's get the more conservative pro-government point of view from Sanjay Jha. In July 2011, two things happened. One, two troopers of the 20 Kumaon Regiment, as has now come out in the media, are beheaded by the Pakistanis. On the other side, we go and say that uh, we cannot wish away the fact, the statement in the Lok Sabha, July 29, 2009, we cannot wish away the fact that Pakistan is our neighbor. Do you believe, Sanjay Jha, that UPA2 messed it up? That UPA2 gave away too much right at the start? I mean, right after the general elections of 2009, all this talk about how can there be a peaceful, you know, inclusive and democratic uh, India not have a destiny with, uh, with, with Pakistan. We are locked in a shared destiny. We must have a permanent peace. This whole talk about an uninterrupted and uninterruptible dialogue that is repeated ad nauseum by certain sections in India. We gave a sense, and that's what Mr. Pat said, we gave a sense that it is onus is on us. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, listen, I, in, fa in, fair, in fairness, UPA1 conducted uh, its relations with prior Pakistan in a very mature way. They went wrong in the assessment of the internal dynamics of Pakistani politics, the rise of General Kayana, Kayani and the jihadi generals in Pakistan, and have not adjusted to that reality of having a nuanced relationship of dealing in one way with the political leadership and giving the Pakistan army a hammering. Sanjay Jha, we gave away too oh, much. Can I respond? We didn't yeah. even respond when our soldiers were being beheaded. Not this time, but earlier. Uh, Arnab, let me tell you, I mean, yeah, no, no, uh, let me answer. You know, there is, uh, every time there is a discussion about India and Pakistan, you know, there is always this uh, implicit and very often explicit and extremely vocal uh, criticism of what happened at Sharm el-Sheikh. And second, that because we have continued with the stance of having a diplomatic dialogue with Pakistan, it makes India a soft state. I don't think so. I, I honestly believe that, you know, one of the most pragmatic decisions at Sharm el-Sheikh was looking at the fact that if you look at the country's historical context and more important, the future, I think the government was right in looking at the stakes India has in terms of a hostile relationship with, a, with an inimical neighbor of the past, these is one with whom perhaps there should be an effort made to you know try and see what kind of a solution can be brought forth. India's stake today, and let me add that because this is a point that very often we get into just nothing but a lot of political rhetoric about whether there should be a limited intervention, whether there should be more aggressive diplomacy. But I believe, Arna, India in today's changing global context has a lot more at stake uh, if so things I, I go don't wrong know. between India and Pakistan, or conversely things go right. No, I, I'm letting it putting putting it down. If in India has any so, degree of, you know, so for, perceived worldwide as a very... Now, everybody knows it's a very dangerous territory. Pakistan, everybody recognizes our norm. We don't have to be hawkish about that. It's a dangerous uh, country. It is fractured. It's got sir, that's militants not the point. within, no, you know, that's about not Pakistan, the, Taliban, sir, United the, States the withdrawing from is Afghanistan. Off. No, these are some no, hard No, no, Sanjay, one second. But I think India Mr. Parthasati raised his hand out there. And that's I, I, I'll ignore. get in Mr. Parthasati and then Yanakshi yeah. Lekhi also. The fact is, we follow a predictable pattern in our relationship. I, I no. I, I look. I entirely agree. It is ridiculous not to have a dialogue. From the very beginning, I have said we should improve trade and economic relations. We should improve our uh, tie, ties on people-to-people -people contacts. I I I I am all in favour of that. Uh, but this dialogue has to be nuanced and properly framed. We have allowed Pakistan to remove the salience of terrorism. Come back to us and tell us, oh, you admitted Balochistan, no. you are doing Balochistan, what we did in Mumbai. You know, now, you know, Mr. that is very, Mr. very Patti dangerous. Sati, let me ask so you this please question continue the dialogue. You have been a seasoned diplomat, you have been, now you have been looking at India-Pakistan yeah. very closely. Would you agree that Indian government, especially the UPA, did manage to successfully put a lot of international pressure on Pakistan post-2611? I know we are still looking at a resolution to that, but look, it uh, yeah, resulted uh, look, in a uh, lot of uh, diplomatic uh, look, isolation, yeah, look, a lot of international attention, uh, uh, look, look, where Pakistan uh, almost got branded as a terrorist state. I, I'm, uh, listen, I'm not in politics. Let me say that both the NDA and the UPA handled their United relationship with the United States substantially well. Both had that power put. But we, we conveyed a, a clear message to Pakistan 
that we were at a loss to do anything in response to terrorism. In, in Sharm el Sheikh, you and I, I have spoken to your Congress Party people in private. They acknowledge you went wrong. So, but uh, but leave, let me leave it as it. All I am saying is have a nuanced policy, keep in touch with politicians, improve people to people relations, but don't go to dialogue for dialogue's sake. It's not a mantra. Therefore, have a nuanced dialogue. You know, Fair before enough. we resume no. the dialogue yeah. and get got an assurance from Pakistan, for two years, Brajesh Mishra had secret discussions with the Pakistanis. Satinder Lamba from the UPA government had excellent secret discussions. I am merely saying you have lost your way when you did not realize the implications of Kayani replacing Musharraf and a weak government which could not control the army. And now the time has come, to be honest, to have the capabilities to cause them as much harm as they cause us. Targeted at the military. And I know from the days of Indira Gandhi, and, we had this And you recommend that... No, one second. Now, now I want to full exist. knowledge... No, one second. ...that Pakistan uh, could be yes. a dangerous proposition. You see, for them... Sir, one minute. ...probably a provocation... Sir, this is a... ...kind of a limited instigation... If, 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 if you are... If, much. I mean, there if you are... If you are... Sir, sir, and irresponsible. In, 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 in so effect, that is the word. It's an irresponsible... In effect... In effect... I'd in like to one second, gentlemen. In effect... Multiple authorities... My question is... One minute, gentlemen. One minute. In effect, you are... Saying, in effect, you are saying, in effect, you are saying, let Pakistan come and run all over us, and we yeah. do nothing in return. Yeah. In, a, in effect, Sanjay Jha, what you are saying is, that is not a way foreign policy. What you are saying, saying, saying one second, no, no, Sanjay Jha, no, no. I am going to get a political response, and then I am coming to Leela Ponapa because I'm because, to because we lost the satellite link with her earlier. One minute, please. First, I want to get a political reaction. Leela Ponapa, I will. I know you present the other strategic perspective, different from G. Part Sathya. I'll come to you for a full reaction, but Leela Ponapa. Before that, to Minakshi. Not later. necessarily different. Yeah. Oh, not necessarily different. I appreciate that. I will not try and create differences where there are none. But pa Mr. Patsati says <laughs> in negotiations don't happen by presenting yourself as sitting ducks. This whole business of being sitting ducks yeah, has ahead. gone on for too far. Minakshi Lekhi first to the points made by Sanjay Jha that the onus is on us more, that we have more to lose. I don't. Um, I, I think we have gained enough uh, from uh, conducting the manner in which we have conducted ourselves in running our country. We do not really have anything to lose. We had gained even in exposing terrorist links of the Pakistan. 2611 gave us the opportunity and we have lost the opportunity. Against Samjhata, there was a United Nations Security Council resolution declaring Pakistan was responsible. And for our internal politics, we have allowed a different point of view to erupt because internal politics and subjugating certain factors was more important than internationalizing the issue and dealing with Pakistan firmly. We have lost the track and we have lost what the plan was. The plan has to be, as I agree partially with what Mr. Parthasarthi is saying, that we can't be sitting ducks. At the same time, I mean, there's a saying, uh, bujang se, uh, kya jiske paas garal na ho. meaning if you don't have the poison, you really are no snake and you, nobody has to be afraid but of has you. Has your government and this been is consistent what earlier? Is happening to India. Has, has the BJP been and, consistent and the government when it has, has been, been completely in power? One minute, one minute. Now, Meenakshi. Of course, BJP has been. Have you been consistent? Have you been consistent? Of course, we have been consistent. Really? And have of you been consistent? Have been consistent? I, I and thought, I thought in parliament. No, no, one second. Yes, please. we have no, been no, consistent. I'll tell you why. No, no, one minute. We one have minute. been consistent. You, ma you mark. And, uh, 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 no, one minute, you're not letting Lekhi. me speak. Binakshi Lekhi, you're not allow letting me, a, a me ten speak. You're not letting me speak. A 10 second intervention to prove that, to, to okay. question you on consistency. You know, from pronouncing in parliament that, and I quote, now India has to embark on, a, on an R par ki ladai, unquote, a war to the finish, right? To, in April 18, 2003, saying, a fresh hand of friendship has to be extended to Pakistan. I don't know if there has been great consistency and of levels of tolerance, even when you were in power, greatly changed during the NDA government. I am not wrong. If I am wrong, Mr. Patsati, correct me right now. No, no. No, no. Let, no, let, no let I'm me, not let on me, that. Me I, I don't am, want to I find am, fault with anyone politically. 
No, no, but I'm, I'm only sure. on the point All of I'm consistency. All I'm saying is, yes, there, 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 there was, there was no, in, there is totally inconsistent to have invited Musharraf to Agra. Exactly. That's after the, point. the red fort had been attacked by the Lashkar-e Taiba. That's the point. So let's, let, so let, let's be very real. But we are all talking as Indians and, and I'm not getting me, into the politics of who's right or who's I'm, wrong. I, let all me, I'm saying uh, is, let's get tough. Arnab, and let I me say like this, in, that the negotiations I, I want to, I want to state had, that. Uh, mm. I, I can't speak for Brajesh Mishra. I can't speak for anybody else. I'm speaking for what has happened now, post-2007. I'm speaking when two soldiers in 2011 have been beheaded. There was no reaction. I'm speaking for the soldier which has been beheaded right now and again there is no reaction. We are going on speaking about trade and uh, all kinds of visa policies. What is, what is it taking us to? And how have we isolated Pakistan? Again, answer is no. I do, our dialogue is again inconsistent. There, are, there is an ambivalence to the policy. I'm saying let there be a government A, let so there be a government B, let there be a firm policy in place as to how one has to deal with Pakistan. So no and unified because there is no consistency in that, we are suffering. Yeah, the only, and, and let me let me let me point out two things. The let only me point out two things. Meenakshi, like they, the only consistency Arna, is the lack of consistency. Let me point out two things so far as this particular Arna, incident Arna, is concerned. Arna, 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 let it not be limited to this incident. And, and, and even on this incident, leader of opposition spoke to the NSA, requested that we are with the government on any tough stand that the government needs to speak on or take there was no response. There was no response as to how one has to deal with the widow of the person who has been sacrificed well, to the I, nation. I, I think there was no response and I, today, for the first time, people have started reacting after leader and, and of the opposition visited I, I would only say, I would only say now, this. this is not I would what only is expected say this. the government no, no, instead, of, instead of Akhilesh going one and then BJP going, it would have been better if an all-party parliament delegation had visited the martyr's family. It would have been much, much, no, made BJP much more sense. I, my question to Leela Ponapa is this. You know, do we need to have a unified universal policy? And do you agree with G. Patsarthi, who says it's time to punch them back and punch them hard for once? Absolutely. I, th I think, first of all, I think, first of all, it is time for us to get rid of illusions. There are too many illusions that have been built up over the past few years and I think all parties have had a hand in this at different times about the prospect of enduring peace with Pakistan. The realities of Pakistan have to be recognized in terms of who exercises power, what their strategic objectives are and above all what their attitudes to India are because that forms the basis of all their strategic thinking. Number one. Number two, with regard to the present situation, what happened on the LOC was horrible, but it is, not, it is entirely consistent with the behavior of the Pakistan security forces. So, so it is uh, really no, nothing so, but, that we so should why be should surprised we, no, about. No, so we how should is that have a counter to, learned from history. No, how is that a counter? No, 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 uh, history, hardly. No, no, history does not have, the, the faults me, in finish, fault lines in history must not repeat themselves. No, let me finish, Arnab. Arnab, you have waited this long, let me finish. There have been too many mixed signals. On the one hand, we talk about all options being open after the Mumbai attacks. The President of India in Parliament says that we have a zero tolerance policy on terrorism. And yet, even while justice for Mumbai and for all the other terrorist attacks, including the suburban trains, is awaited, you have legal trivialization of the whole thing, and you have impromptu summitry at Mohali, you have cricket, precisely. Uh, you have uh, really a, a, a setting aside yeah, right. of terrorism as no, the main no, agenda. No, so so there to has to be an end to mixed signals. No, that's now my you and you. many others have talked about Absolutely the need for right. consistency. You have talked about the need for consistency and the consistency has to be based on a very clear, not just definition, but articulation of national interest which the government conveys sir, to the public. Sir, my and I think the government no, needs no, to communicate me, me, very much more effectively you, with the public on You this. see, one minute. I just want a, a very simple layman question. How can your strategy, your policy towards Pakistan rest on an intangible called hope? How does this happen? No, it cannot. It has but to, that's it has what to we be have based done. on a very no. clear assessment 
of, you know, look, until from July 2010 up to a few months ago, Pakistan was on a charm offensive. And there were many in this country who believed it. I have said it on your channel, and I have used these words. So it started with Hina Rabani Khar's visit. You had the MFN announcement, for which the notification still has not yet come. You had the Zardari visit. You had all of this. And yet, you had the then Foreign Secretary, now the High Commissioner to India, talking about the literature that the Indian Foreign Secretary so I gave know all that. Mumbai. You've had the Pakistan Foreign Minister saying, forget it. So no, I, I know, I know, but, but you know, this charm so offensive... you have to be consistent. No, no, I know. No, no, but in November 2011 at the Sark summit, the Prime Minister said this, and I quote him, Mr. Padza. He said, I did discuss with Prime Minister Gilani, who he later described as a man of peace, whether the Pakistani army is fully on board to carry you forward with a peace process. And he says, the sense I got was that after a long time, Pakistan's armed forces are fully on board. Were we gullible to think so, knowing General Kiani's no, background? No, that's the point. Of this, no, no, just I, I a think minute. the very we're, fact we're, we're that such a statement was made goes to show that, uh, I mean, would, was it thinkable that uh, anybody would say no, no, that the so, Indian no, no, army so is on board? No, no, are we, we, are we not seasoned enough? Of our structure. No, are we not so seasoned enough to see through? So this that the Pakistan army runs the establishment. Yeah, so why, why don't we see through it? Yes. Arma, uh, uh, listen, listen, Arunab. I, I, have a, I have a point to make. Arunab, I want to make a point. The, the, it is stupid of us to expect they are going to give up terrorism against India when they have not given up terrorism against the United Absolutely. States in Afghanistan. What world are we living in? The Pakistan army fund, uh, has funded jihadis in, uh, and supported them in Afghanistan. They have supported them in India. Now let me say, I am not a warmonger, I am not saying go to war. I am saying develop capabilities to inflict yeah. pain which the Pakistan army Strike. cannot bear. Surgical yeah. strikes. Don't, don't, pre don't pretend that and listen to what Gilani or Hina Rabani Khar think. The Pakistan army holds them to and contempt. For too long, the discourse has been about uh, non-state actors, and we have to recognize that everything that happens the non -state is non-state really actors based are the same. on uh, state support oh, no. for terrorism. So one sec, Meenakshi no, Lekhi was making a point. Actors, I have one minute left actors. on the debate, Meenakshi Lekhi, and then a final word from Sanjay Jha. Yes, Meenakshi Lekhi. You see, the state and the non-state actors are one and the same thing in Pakistan. So far as Pakistan is Indeed. concerned, they run the governance. And they talk in folk tongue all the time. That is part of their policy. So keep supporting the non-state actors and keep disassociating yourself from the non-state actors. Keep pretending you're on peace talks and keep attacking. This is the manner in which their policy is run. Absolute. And not once. Now, 2611 is subsided. Abzal, Abzal still remains. And, uh, the, uh, Kassab goes, somebody else still comes. So is, uh, Hafiz Said, again no action. They keep saying produce the documents. The foreign minister. When you talk about United Nations Security Council thing, again you're not coming up. So keep talking this and keep sending terrorists in one form or the other. They will infiltrate towards well, from the, the borders and they will come via visas which you are willing to give them. Absolutely. Well, nobody wants war, but it is the foreign and, minister. And, and, and in the process... In, and, and in the process, oh, invite uh, Daud Ibrahim Samandi, who openly claims that he is a great admirer Absolutely. of Daud Ibrahim. Absolutely. Almost came. Was stopped at the last minute. And, and these oh. people, and these the, people will Mr. keep Pachati, sending their small, players, small, they will keep sending their fingers and keep taking we money out of this country. sending mixed signals and, and we must get rid of any illusions. It and ha follow the a army, the army policy, and the government need to speak Pakistan in the same language. Or what it is, uh, Mr. Jha, we are all, everyone's achieved a consensus here. Why do you want to be the odd one out? Are you not sensing the mood of the nation? Are you not <laughs> no, no, sensing no, no, the mood of the nation? Even the Congress it. Party no, senior leaders, no, absolutely. even Congress Party senior leaders, tell you, the Congress Party have talked yeah. of a proportionate yeah. and strong response. Well, well, I can tell you there are two factors here. Let Number bring, one, I, I hope they can bring the Prime Minister and his office in line today, with the party. Sent a very emphatic statement about <laughs> what are India's capabilities. Number one, I think the general himself said that the way it has been handled. We don't by want statements, we want action. Has been speaking very vocally, action. is being done in a correct fashion. Number three, now, uh, uh, no, let me make a third point. You know, we flatter Enough Pakistan of talking. here. If you believe that after decisive tri military triumphs over Pakistan, 
Pakistan over four wars, if we believe that Pakistan is really preparing for a war against India, I think we are being extremely kind to our neighbor. Yeah. And point number four, I think we need deal to move with them. The history here. Deal you look with at them. One minute, Speak other the language one, they one, understand. One simple example. I, a similar, uh, Arnav, a similar I think this matter should be handled the devoid of politics. In between Israel and be Palestine, devoid of politics. whenever they have had conflict, it has not really resulted in any well, Mr. Ja, relationships. So me, somewhere down the line, even if Pakistan is responsible, India needs to send a tough message. I don't think anybody is... Mr. Ja, that, how can we in India... We how can Mr. Ja, how can we... How can anyone in India... No, we, we make it end the politics over Pakistan. If Mike Mullen can see it, sure. if Cameron Munter said it, if uh, Leon Panetta said it after Osama was killed, then I don't see any reason why the people of this country and all political parties cannot agree on Pak's links with terror and call it off once and for all. To my panelists tonight, I thank you very much. My question goes out to every news hour viewer. Do you believe that the time has come for a change in strategy vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan? I'd like to hear from you. Ladies and gentlemen, see you again tomorrow evening, 9 p.m.